Endonuclear wedge dissection with power bump is a new technique which showcases the gravity safety bevel probe and the Alcon Legacy Neosonic with programmable Advantech software. Surgeons until now have had to use the flat face standard probe designed to generate waveform energy with resultant cavitational bubbles. Cutting is a secondary action with flat faced blunt probes. 45, 30, and 15 degree versions are dull, duller, or dullest. Surgeons now have a choice of another probe in tip configuration, specifically designed for cutting with a continuous cutting edge, the Gravely Safety Bevel Probe. Notice in this case how the endonucleus is dissected into four portions using a one-handed technique without assistance from a second instrument for demonstration purposes. This is accomplished by a deep lollipop maneuver through the center of the nucleus. The safety bevel probe has a wedge-like cracking action which dissects the endonucleus in two with forward motion of the probe. This Alcon Legacy Neosonic machine has been programmed to deliver a single 50 millisecond interval of combined ultrasonic and neosonic power when traveling from foot position 2 to foot position 3. The vacuum will go up to well over 500 millimeters of mercury by allowing the peristaltic pump to run in foot position 3 without interruption. Notice how there will be an occasional 20% application of power followed by cutting with high vacuum. I have coined the term power bump to describe this type of power modulation with single energy burst. The only way to get another application of power is to go back down into foot position 2 and travel back into foot position 3. The only reason to apply power is if vacuum cutting is not working under maximum vacuum. With high vacuum and non-thermal surgery the occlusion bell is to be ignored. Occlusion is the desired goal to enable vacuum cutting to occur. The safety bevel probe occludes more readily than any other probe. The safety bevel probe has the same wedge-shaped continuous cutting edge as a corneal tree fine, only with an angulated orifice. Application of vacuum is like pushing on a tree fine. Application of power is like twisting a tree fine. With this cutting probe, there are very few loose fragments within the eye to potentially damage the endothelium. Also, there is no emulsate with this non-cavitational technique. Very short, surgeon selected, individual applications of power are much safer than traditional continuous mode, pulse mode, or burst mode. The effect is limited, localized, and non-thermal. The power bump can be longitudinal and or oscillatory as with the Alcon Neosonic machine. There is low potential for collateral damage with corneal burns, corneal edema, glaucoma, iritis, or cystoid macular edema. The safest cataract surgery is delamination from the inside out, first removing the endonucleus using the natural rigidity of the epinucleus and then the cortex to prevent the posterior capsule from prolapsing or trampolining into the center of the eye. The best time to cut the endonucleus is at the beginning of the case because of what I call the grapefruit principle. Have you ever noticed when slicing a grapefruit in half how easy it is to cut the seeds? However, when a wet seed is on the countertop, it is almost impossible to slice the seed. This phenomenon is explained by the fact that the pulp cells of the grapefruit caress the seed like a vise. With cataract surgery, the endonucleus is like the hard seed 
and the cortex is like the pulp cells of a grapefruit. A good occlusive probe that can lollipop has additional vice-like stabilizing qualities that will enhance cutting under high vacuum conditions. Power bump is an excellent technique to deliver a minimal amount of energy into the eye when vacuum cutting or vacuum aspiration needs to be supplemented. With endonuclear wedge dissection procedures, high vacuum technique is greatly facilitated by using highly retentive viscoelastics, namely Vitrax by Allergan or Viscoat by Alcon, with Vitrax being the most retentive. Filling the anterior chamber with a retentive viscoelastic is true to our grapefruit principle, stabilizing the endonucleus for cutting. Further benefits of this are minimizing potential for collapse of the corneal dome as well as iris flutter and iris meiosis. Notice in this case a three-way endonuclear dissection along the embryonic suture lines. Also note the incredible ability of the probe to grasp, occlude, and to lollipop into a section of endonucleus so that it can be mobilized centrally. Note there is no chatter. The followability is excellent without spindling of the nucleus around the probe. A second instrument is not required, but a second instrument will give even greater efficiency. As you can see, this is a very dense cataract, and the red reflex progressively improves as the case proceeds. Not all cataracts have the same consistency, so I recommend a different setting to be used for various grades of cataracts. Memory 1 for clear lensectomy or grade 1 nuclear sclerosis, memory 2 for grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, and so on. One good rule of thumb for the scrub nurse is to set the initial memory setting to match the patient's ASA classification. The safety bevel probe is safer when the posterior capsule comes forward because it is less likely to present a sharp edge compared to a traditional probe distal end tip design. Another safety aspect, the safety bevel probe has Another safety aspect is the posterior capsule has to travel a longer distance since much of the metal which would be present on a traditional tip has been removed. Decreasing the mass of the metal at the distal end tip also improves the visibility. Harkening back to the first rule of surgery, obtaining adequate exposure. These are the power bump memory settings validated for use with the safety bevel probe. Ultrasound power, burst width, and aspiration rate all become more aggressive as the nuclear hardness increases. Vacuum is linear and set at 500 plus. Neosonics amplitude becomes less aggressive as the nuclear hardness increases. Aspiration is linear and panel mode permits just one interval of power of very short duration. These non-thermal power modulations, high vacuum techniques, and new efficient cutting tip technology will give us a bridge to an exciting future of ultra-small incisions with unsleeved probes.